I want to go over an issue I ran into setting up Cassandra in a Docker container using the standard official Docker image. Um, and what you end up with is in the log, when you run Cassandra, you end up with this warning and it says it's unable to lock JVM memory. And it tells you about creasing the R limit memlock. And it took quite a while to figure out exactly how to get around this and what to do. So um, basically what it ends up is if you look at the um, Docker service, and in this case it's running under system D, um, what you can do is if you look at the process, and in this case it is 4789, and you look at the limits, you can see that the max locked memory is this right here. And what we need to do is set that to unlimited because what you need to do is order for the container to have this setting, it inherit, inherits it from the Docker daemon. So you have to set this for the Docker daemon. So what you end up doing is you can add a setting to this file right here. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and edit this file and it has some other limit settings in here but what you have to do is add the setting that says limit memlock equals infinity and I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my Cassandra container and then you issue a command to uh, reload the daemon configurations and then you go ahead and you can restart the uh, Docker service. And now when we do the status, you can see now the PID is 5596. So we can look at uh, proc 5596 slash limits. And you can see now that the max locked memory is unlimited. So now, when we bring up uh, Cassandra, if you actually look inside of the container and you can do, look at the limits on process one and you can see that it's inherited the setting. And then you can also see that um, what ends up happening is um, you end up in the logs, you end up with this right here where it says JNA mlock all successful. So basically this successful message is what replaces the other error message that I ran into. If it ends up that um, for a different container you want to override this unlimited setting and set it to a particular value, what you can actually do is in you can set, um, this is in your docker compose.yml file, you can set under set under the um, ulimits section, you can go ahead and set memlock and specify a value. So that way if you want this particular setting restricted on a different container, you can override the um, infinite setting uh, in your docker compose file. And you can also do this on the uh, docker run command line as well. So hopefully this helps someone uh, figure this out and save someone some time. Uh, thanks a lot for listening. Take care.